Now it's never too late to try something new, as the saying goes. Well, Donna has been to meet people who've taken on very different challenges for their personal and professional development at the Belfast Metropolitan College. What's happening here in the college this evening is replicated in so many community centres, sports halls and church halls all over the place. Lifelong learning. People are setting themselves new challenges, stepping outside their comfort zone and learning something new. It could be doing a pottery course. It could be learning a new language. I've even read up about a course where you learn to become a comedian. Lorraine Small used to be a dentist. She plans to open a boutique guest house. And so she is doing a cookery course at the Titanic Quarter campus in Belfast. Initially, I had some reservations about um, joining a class where I would definitely be the oldest. In fact, I'm older than some of the tutors in our course. But we've integrated really, really well. And really, if you have a dream, you have to live it. But here at Belfast Met, we get all kinds of students, uh, every race, colour, creed, nationality, they all come through the doors, they're all very welcome. We've had former barristers, teachers, ambulance drivers, all come to Belfast Met to learn how to become a chef. Can you watch it? Right, I think they've just got a passion for food and they've got a real interest in the industry. The want to learn is probably the more fundamental desire that they have and we're lucky to be in the heart of Belfast to be able to nurture that passion and to be able to introduce them to a vibrant industry that's very, very busy and that's crying out for them. Here in the foundry at the Millfield campus, you'll also find people who are challenging themselves to do something different, to be creative. Alan, you joined the course here, as did you, Randall. Why so? I retired seven years ago and a friend of mine said why don't you come down and do something different so uh, I came along and uh, I just uh, hadn't an idea what I was going to do but started off with the grandchildren's feet and the moulds of those and then I've advanced from that so I've become a bit more adventurous. And did you know you had that creativity already? Had you exercised it before in your job, in other hobbies? I'm a technique junkie. Um, where I worked before was all laboratory work and uh, I like techniques and uh, this was an opportunity to try something different. You're using techniques here which are ancient. The Greeks and the Romans used these uh, and it's fascinating to see how your piece develops. There's great excitement when you knock the ceramic coat off to see just what you've got. There's a great social aspect to this. Uh, it's great fun. Uh, and we are, we are learning different things and it does make you critical when you go to see something and even some of the larger sculptures uh, you go and you see now where's the weld, how did they do that and I think for me that's the fascinating thing, seeing how other people do it. You learn from each other, you yeah. find somebody has an idea and you think that's a good idea, I could try that. And then, uh, as Randall says, you knock the ceramic off and find that it has gone slightly wrong or awry, so you have to try again, but that's all part of the fun. Nighttime and part-time courses take so many people along very different paths. The great writer W.B. Yeats once said, education is not about the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire, perhaps even a foundry fire. If you set yourself a new challenge for the new year, join the conversation on our Facebook page.